afternoon and happy, happy, happy vlog days. I am super de duper. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me open this blind. Super de duper excited to come and share and do vlog days with you guys today. As a matter of fact, let me go out here and talk with you for a second. I'm gonna go, we're gonna go out here. It's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. Um, but anyway, today is the first day of vlog days, and I really, truly love doing vlog days because one of the things that I definitely enjoy is vlogging. I don't always get the opportunity to do that on the channel because um, vast majority of the time we're talking about my fertility-based stuff. But this is my favorite time of year, from September to February. I absolutely love it. We are on the cusp of Thanksgiving. Um, today is actually Saturday. November 10th and so just so you know how these vlogs are going to be going as a matter of fact I think it's the 11th November 11th um the vlogs are going to be two days behind and this is so that I can keep my sanity <laughs> I know a lot of you probably watch daily vloggers and when I tell you that daily vlogging is a task and a job it is a task and a job because to be able to vlog different parts of your day all the way to the evening time and then stay up and then edit and then export and all that stuff mm -mm. Because I still have an actual job. So I'm going to be um, doing these two days behind so that I can take the time to edit and so on and so forth. But I'm hoping that you guys are going to follow through with this vlog a days all the way through because um, it ends on January 1st. So I go from November 13th all the way to January, 4, 4, oh, January 1st. Um, and so, yeah, it's actually a pretty nice day out here in Virginia. It's nice and sunny, but it also has a little bit of chill. Um, in comparison to my New York winters, this is nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Let me step back in here. And so, today I am off and I have quite a bit of cleaning to do. Quite a bit of cleaning because Thanksgiving is literally around the corner. It's going to be our fourth annual Thanksgiving since we've been married. Um, the only year we didn't do it was last year because we had just moved here to Virginia. And so I'm excited. I am excited. I am thrilled. I am ready. Um, we have our family coming from out of town. We have our family that lives locally coming. And so this is the beginning of prep time. And so I think I'm going to share some of that with you today. Some of the prepping that I'm doing in reference to Thanksgiving to make sure that everything goes smoothly. Um, in previous years, I just kind of did whatever. Um, but this year, I wanted to make sure that I had everything prepared and written out and so on and so forth. Because it's one thing to keep it all in your head and know what you're going to do. And it's a completely different thing to write it down and have it all. But the kitchen is a Messington. And so I do need to make sure that I get my life and get that together. I'm running the dishwasher now. That's what you hear. There's still some dishes that are in the sink from my crock pot and so on and so forth. This is actually a, what is this, penny bank? that I got from my dad. Um, so yeah, I need to clean this here. So I've been working on this because you guys know I've been doing DIY um, projects because people had asked for me to do some more crafty things. And so I actually, in my spare time, have been working on making this like full theme scarf. I'm still working on it. Who knows if I'm gonna finish it in time to be able to share the full video, but just know for those of you who had asked about me potentially doing crochet related um, videos i am working on one all right let's go down the hall because oof, another thing that i need to get my life with is the linen closet which looks a mess it looks better at the moment because i took the stuff that was stuffed in here and then also the rest of the pillows that were stuffed in there and i really need to try to get this whole organized i have bingo cards on the floor uno cards on the floor I it needs to be more organized and I have pillows that I actually need to put in there that as well, which are randomly on the floor. So on my day off, I have a whole heap of things that I need to get done today. And fingers crossed, we're going to accomplish them all because I want everything to be nice and clean just before Thanksgiving so that I'm not running around the day before trying to put things together and so on and so forth. But back to Thanksgiving because that's what we're talking about. All right, so don't mind the dishwasher. Uh, but I have been keeping all of my Thanksgiving related decor and mainly all of my dishes in reference to Thanksgiving in these two cabinets. Um, I do have a few other things in another area, but this is where a vast majority of the Thanksgiving Wonderland is held. And so here, we're going to open this cabinet here. 
And in this cabinet here, I pretty much have all of my Thanksgiving cookware. Uh, super excited when I moved to Virginia and got a dishwasher. Because when I lived in New York, I always used like paper plates because it made my life easier. But I've always wanted to use just regular dishes but not have to do all the dishes. So wonderful. Um, so this is the theme that I have, more of a harvest theme. These are glass. I'm going to hold them up a little closer so that you can see them. Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely love them. Um, so those are the mugs. These oh, are the salad plates. Let's hold them down. Okay. These are the salad plates. Um, up here, I just have some Dollar Tree bowls to put some candy in. Uh, these are the actual dinner plates. I'm on my tippy toes, y'all. <laughs> These are the actual uh, dinner plates for this year, which are super cute. And then I also have my bowls, which look very similar to the cups. And that's what the inside of it looks like. I try to keep them all nice and organized and not clinking on each other. So that's why you see that paper in there. This I actually have been saving since the summertime for the bathroom, the Spice Pumpkin Goat Milk Lotion and Shower Gel. I actually picked these up at the restaurant Cracker Barrel. I tried it one time and it smelled amazing. Uh, then we have the salt and pepper shaker. And then these here are just bowls. I'm not gonna take them all out, but just know that there are four of them. They're four different sizes. I will take one out so that you can see what it looks like. And so that's for my serving. I'm trying to do this quick. <laughs> All right, let's put that back. This is a long casserole dish with the same theme. Also underneath it is a platter. This I picked up from Bath and Body Works. It's just a um, that's what, that's a just the it's a, it's just a dish drying mat. So I put it down and then I can put the dishes on that I wash by hand. Like for example, these. I would just end up putting it here for whenever I need to do that. Some kitchen towels, some signs. Uh, also, I have the clings for the mirrors in the bathroom. Someone says, Happy Thanksgiving. I think the other one says, yeah, give thanks. Refrigerator magnets, all sorts of stuff. I tried to keep them all nice and organized in this area. Um, but this is the main Thanksgiving cookware cabinet. And then next to it, I have all my other things. This is a big dish. It's really big. It's a big dish. And let me pull it down. Oh, oh Lord. These things are heavy, y'all. <laughs> uh, but inside, there's another bowl. And then you can see the kind of acorn top. Maybe I'll take it out so you can see it. Let's do that. So to get an idea on what the bowl looks like, this is what it looks like. And it has acorn little handles. And on the inside, it has another bowl for serving. And then I have my... Um, decorative runner I'm gonna use it to run across this counter here so that I can line up all the food I also have one that's already out currently right here going here because I'm gonna put all the food here and then I'm also gonna put a bunch of food here uh, a spoon then I have some garlic and then these are my deviled egg dishes it's a whole heap of stuff in here um aluminum pans this is also whoops. this is also a platter that has the same theme these are the tablecloths that i've chosen for this year's theme up there um and then these are my whoop. <laughs> and then these are the chargers that i have the gold ones for this year um so usually i have a very extensive tablescape for thanksgiving i will post a link to the videos of previous years of thanksgiving somewhere over here or there if you really want to see like what it looks like on that day um but yeah so that's all of that i wasn't expecting to take up this much time to show all of that um but that's that and then up there this is gonna be like my turkey platter, even though I don't make um, a full turkey. I have to wash this off. Um, but this is actually something that I got from a thrift store, I wanna say a few weeks ago. I'm cleaning the stove, so that's why there's no 
there's no burner or anything in here because it needs to be cleaned thoroughly. I pulled out, pulled, I should say printed, printed out everything for Thanksgiving um, so that I can have it all nice and out. And so I have a to-do book which just has some miscellaneous to-do items. And then I printed out the menu for Thanksgiving this year. And so I'll share a little bit of that with you or all of it, I guess. <laughs> So for appetizers, deviled eggs, meatballs, the cucumber tomato appetizer, and then there's a kielbasa with pineapple appetizer. Um, for meats, turkey wings, ham, pernil, grilled wingettes, pig feet, vegetables, collard greens, string beans, cabbage, black eyed peas should actually be on sides. Um, so sides, black eyed peas, mashed potatoes, candy yams, baked macaroni and cheese, rice and beans, stuffing, cranberry sauce, cornbread, rolls, stuffed shells, baked ziti. And then also um, some salads, cold salad, macaroni salad, and potato salad. The next of that, I have my Thanksgiving grocery list, which I've kind of divvied up in my head <laughs> by um, different categories, not necessarily aisles in the supermarket. And so I have all my fresh vegetables listed, all the meats, all of the canned products, all of the um, bottled items, seasonings, boxed products, bagged items, any type of dairy items, a list for Dollar Tree, some miscellaneous items that I have to pick up. And then I have a serving set up. So I was showing you all those platters and different things that I have. Oh, I forgot to show you the leaves. Platters and different items that I have for Thanksgiving. And so I kind of um, divvied up which would go in which platter when I am done with them. And so you'll see like the harvest rectangle and the large leaf platter and so on and so forth. Uh, then I broke it down by cooking timeline so on Wednesday which is the day before Thanksgiving these are a few of the things that I plan to do chop and dice all the onion and peppers boil all the eggs for the double eggs and any type of salad um, put the cranberry sauce in the bowl in advance so that it can start chilling um, make the cheese spread for the appetizers all sorts of things uh, and then I have overnight things that I do I usually make my pernil overnight I'm gonna put my meatballs in the crock pot overnight and I'm gonna soak the black eyed peas overnight and then on actual Thanksgiving, the different items. And then I also have various cook times for the things that are cooking, like macaroni and cheese is taking an hour, turkey wings, ham, pernil, wingettes, so on and so forth. And I also listed if they go in the oven, the stove top or on the grill, so I can kind of um, balance out the time that I'm using since I only have one oven. <laughs> I want to make sure that we um, have that all nice and together. And then this year I'm using three recipes. I try to use um, just different recipes for different things each year just to give something different. And so this year I saw a recipe of baked macaroni and cheese on YouTube that I absolutely love. So I printed that out. I will link it below as well in the description box that you can see it or I may even leave it as, as a comment. So this is the baked macaroni and cheese is one um, recipe that I'm using. Um, I also have a pig feet recipe that I'm using also from someone on YouTube and then I also have um, a black eyed peas recipe so these are the three things that I'm using recipes for this year everything else I usually make on a normal basis the same with the macaroni and cheese but I really want to try this one out because it seems like it's going to be a very good one and so my goal was actually to make these videos about 10 minutes long each day considering it's going to be every single day but I can already tell that they're not going to be, but that's the goal because I do want to keep it short and simple. Um, so yes, yeah, so I guess maybe my Thanksgiving prep will be all I'll be able to share for today and then we'll see what happens tomorrow. But I realized when I looked at the serving platter list, that I left out two items um, that I have for serving. Oh, this is pretty cool. I actually got this from a thrift store because I felt like I needed another... Um, deeper pot and so I got this from the thrift store for $5.99 has a top and then it also has a strainer and a steamer if you want to steam something instead and I absolutely love my dump my dumplings so I was happy to find that um, but I really needed it for the very big top portion of it and then there are three other platters that I forgot to show you that's in the shape of whew, that's in the shape of leaves. One second while I get this up. This they is all look like leaves. It's three of them. You know, kind of like a small, medium, large serving set. And it has the same harvesty theme. And so that was part of the leaf platters that I was... Let's put this out. Part of the... Whoop, 
leaf platters that I was talking about. All right, so there's a whole lot of stuff to do, but I think I have it relatively together. I'd love to hear what your plans are for Thanksgiving, what your Thanksgiving menu is looking like. Do you do it potluck where people bring stuff? Do you make all the food? How does that go? Definitely comment below and let me know. Do you have like your organization kind of like I do? Do you use any recipes? Any of that stuff. Comment below and let me know for sure. Um, one of the other things that I do around vlog days, if you're new to the channel, is I actually do something that I call the 12 days of Christmas. And um, it's the only time of year that I actually do giveaways on my channel. And it's 12 random days over the course of vlog days, and then you get to enter in to win whatever the prize is going to be on that day. So I just want to give you a heads up. So if you're watching, be sure to watch every day because you may have the opportunity to win something. Fab. Um, and it's usually a combination between regular fun stuff and then also TTC related stuff like pregnancy tests and ovulation kits and all sorts of things like that. Don't want to make the video too long so I'm going to get going but one thing that I like to do every vlog days on every day is to share a Christmas movie with you and so the movie that me and my husband are watching right now that we're in the process of completing is called A Very Merry Friggin Christmas or A Merry Friggin Christmas. Hmm. I'll just say that it's not really a kid appropriate Christmas movie um but if you're looking for something nice to watch with your significant other then guys right, so I'm watching it on Hulu so I don't know if they have it on Netflix or anything like that but we we have Netflix we have Amazon and we have Hulu and so the Christmas movie of the season or day um is going to be a merry friggin Christmas so not a very merry but it's a merry friggin Christmas um and it has Robin Williams in there may he rest in peace and so uh, if you're looking for something to watch there it is <laughs> 